Sheev Palpatine was a highly respected senator of Naboo, who, by his own set devices, became elected the Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Republic. He went from being a handsome, middle-aged man to looking like this. The dark side. Not even once. What caused him to look like this? Was it the lightning? Ah, 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 ow, ah, 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 oh, my face, it's on fire! Or did he always look like this and just stopped using the disguise? That's a topic for a different video. Check out this video by Star Wars Reading Club for more on that. The question that I will attempt to answer is how did Palpatine choose to appear before the galaxy after becoming Emperor? You might think this question has an obvious answer, considering he announced the creation of the Empire before the entire Senate. But a few sources in the new canon suggest that Palpatine was shown in a different light to most of the galaxy. In the novel Lost Stars by Claudia Gray, Sienna Ray is present on the second Death Star when Emperor Palpatine arrives. She is shocked by his pale, wrinkly appearance. Quote, Palpatine's face appeared on countless hollows every single day. Like anyone else in the Empire, she could have described him as well as she could members of her own family. Hair almost entirely gray but still thick. Face betraying only the slightest lines of care and time. His posture straight. His eyes sharp. In other words, the face shown to the world had nothing to do with the reality. Sienna's eyes widened as she took in the face his heavy hood did not entirely conceal. The unnatural paleness of his skin, the inhuman folds and wrinkles. So apparently, on Imperial propaganda, Emperor Palpatine is shown as his pre-Order 66 self. Does this mean that most of the galaxy doesn't know what the Emperor looks like? But what about his first appearance ever as Emperor? And what about that one occurrence in the comic Star Wars Annual No. 1? In this issue, on Coruscant, now known as the Imperial Center, Rebel spy Enabrae attempts to assassinate the Emperor. Although he successfully infiltrates the Emperor's lair with a group of Imperial Senators who had been held prisoner, the Emperor is able to make his escape. Enabrae pursues him to the roof and is able to shoot him down, or so it appears. The real Palpatine then shows up revealing that Enabrae had only shot a decoy. Later on, after the senators are all executed, and Enebre is forced to retreat with his cover blown, Palpatine appears before the city on Hollow to give a speech about the traitor senators, showing his true appearance. The fact that Palpatine's decoy shared his true appearance, and that he then speaks to all of Coruscant on the Hollow Net, showing his true face, seems to contradict what Sienna Ray says in Lost Stars. So which is it? Does Palpatine care what he looks like to the Empire citizens? Does most of the galaxy know his true appearance, or is it hidden from them, like Sienna suggests? I asked Pablo Hidalgo, Star Wars canon expert from the Star Wars Story Group, about this on Twitter. From Episode 3 to 4, the Emperor largely disappeared from public view, with few exceptions. Sienna never saw said exceptions. So this makes sense. Public appearances by the Emperor were very rare so hollow news networks wouldn't have many opportunities to film him giving public speeches or anything like that. Or maybe whoever is in charge of imperial propaganda tries to give Palpatine a favorable public image by using old hollows of him from the Clone Wars days. But it looks like Palpatine himself doesn't care about how he looks. Oh, uh -oh. look at you! You look crazy! <laughs> I know, yeah, I look yeah. crazy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a like. And remember kids, the dark side, not even once.